everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we celebrate Blessed Dermot O'Herley, a teacher who was suddenly elevated to great importance and rose to the occasion to become one of Ireland's greatest Catholic martyrs. Dermot was born around 1530 to a family of the Irish nobility. He was educated in a Catholic school attached to a monastery near his home. He graduated from the University of Leuven in Belgium and became a professor there, where he taught philosophy for 15 years. He then moved to France to teach theology and law. During his years in France, Queen Elizabeth I of England was excommunicated, which prompted a rebellion in Ireland against English rule. In the midst of the conflict, Dermot received an unexpected prompting. Pope Gregory XIII wanted to make him an archbishop. Dermot had never been a priest, but his knowledge of theology and canon law, as well as his steadfast faith, more than qualified him for the position. He was rapidly promoted through the necessary offices. The Pope then gave him orders to return to Ireland and encourage his people to remain strong in their resistance against heresy. Dermot accepted his mission without hesitation, even though he knew there would be great danger from the English. Thanks to their far-reaching spy network, his appointment to the seat of Archbishop was known to them immediately, and priest hunters were soon set on his trail. He managed to travel safely into Ireland, where he disguised himself as one of Baron Slane's guests. However, the Baron was visited by one of the Queen Elizabeth's judges, Robert Dillon. At dinner, Robert and his companions started a conversation on a subject that was obviously heresy. Dermot remained silent for a long time, but eventually he became so incensed at what they were saying that he had to speak out against them. He demonstrated such a depth of knowledge in his rebuttal that Robert immediately suspected him of being a high-ranking member of clergy. Dermot fled the castle, but when Baron Slane was threatened to be punished for harboring him, he agreed to give himself up. He was imprisoned in Dublin Castle, where his captors tried to force him into confessing against a plot to undermine England. Of course, there was no such plot, and Dermot's mission was entirely religious in nature, but the judges weren't satisfied with that. They were given permission to torture him to get the answer they wanted, and they tried, by putting his feet into boots filled with boiling oil. He refused to give them anything. Following this, they offered him great wealth and high position if he would renounce his religion, but he declined all of their offers. Recognizing that he would not budge an inch, the judges opted to execute him unannounced in the early hours of the morning, instead of risking a public trial. However, the hanging was discovered, and following his death, Dermot was celebrated across Ireland as a martyr. Evil is a very real thing, and it functions best in the shadows, where nobody can be aware of it. Like Dermot, who spoke out against heresy, we should always strive to be honest and remain in the light of the truth. Blessed Dermot O'Herley, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.